Raffensperger. I'm speaking to you from Mobile World Congress in the Huawei booth at the show. For those of you that don't know what Mobile World Congress is, it's where 50,000 of your closest friends all come together to learn about the latest in mobile communications technologies and figure out new ways to rock their customers and improve their businesses. I say 50,000 friends because at Huawei, that's what they are. As the number two supplier of telecommunications in the world, we know these people. We have worked with them for the last years, and we have absolutely been a key part of their success in growing, in particular, the mobile broadband industry. And they like to come and talk to Huawei because we have some really neat ideas. We think end to end, and we think really big. Even though the show has just started, we've already made a big splash. And I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Huawei phone family. This is the Huawei Ascend D Quad. What makes it special is that it has the fastest computer that's ever been put into a handset. Why do you need that set of capabilities? Well, HD video while checking in with all your mobile sites, and oh, by the way, making phone calls. All of this really takes a lot of capability within the phone. Now, normally, a phone like that with a high-speed processor, you'd better keep your battery charger handy. But with the Ascend D Quad, Huawei has some patented technology that makes it SIP battery power. So you can have the best of both worlds, a really screaming phone and one that you can go a day or two without even having to recharge. That's pretty unknown in the industry right now. So in addition to the capabilities of the HD and the being able to make HD videos, being able to show them uh, on uh, HD devices, and all of the other capabilities, what else can you do? And of course, one of the things you can do with a device like this is to have a work-life balance. That means you need to be in communication with your office all of the time. The best way to do that is to have very tightly coupled applications. And to do that, Huawei relies on its friends. And another announcement that we have this week is with IBM, very much a household name in IT. IBM is going to be creating applications that tie devices like the Huawei Ascend D Quad with office IT systems so that you have communications wherever you happen to be. So what else have we been up to? Oh, how about standing cloud computing on its head? Now, cloud computing is a very confusing concept and it's not very well understood, but it really has two components. One is for companies like Google and Facebook to be able to provide consumers with new communications and capabilities that will allow them to have a more productive life, and all they need to do is be connected to the internet. The other use is by corporate IT organizations that have leveraged the power of massive numbers of computers and lots of storage to be able to provide much higher efficiency, new business models, and that sort of thing. Well, at Huawei, what we've done is we've combined those together, along with our expertise in communication, to create an environment that can do cloud computing in a whole new way, so that particularly when deployed by telecommunications operators, that they can provide things like mobile access to healthcare professionals in remote areas, remote kinds of learning capabilities. They're just the sky is the limit when you combine the capabilities that Huawei's cloud has with information and communications technologies together, along with the capabilities and the trusted relationship that telecommunications operators have to be able to improve their own productivity, to increase our capabilities, and much more environmentally friendly environment. And because security is such a strong component of what's required with cloud computing, Huawei has joined the Cloud Security Alliance, and we're working very closely with them to ensure that the trusted kinds of communications, the trust of the information is safe and stored uh, appropriately, will always be true. Now that's pretty busy, but the other thing that we've been working on is you've got cloud, you've got devices, something has to connect them together, and that is networking, and that certainly is an area where Huawei has been a leader. We found time this week to hold Broader Way Forum, which is a meeting of industry leaders to talk about the implications and the uh, capabilities of national broadband networks. Singapore has a really aggressive uh, set of capabilities that they're working on. They want to put high speed, and I mean really high speed, like over one gigabit per second, connections to every single uh, building within Singapore. 
and in fact they're doing it. And so around the middle of this year, they'll have over 95% of all of the buildings in Singapore connected on this high uh, bandwidth capability. And Mr. Montefiore was talking about how they've gone about doing that and how, how Huawei has been able to help them. So is there anything else? Well, the week is early. I think we'll probably have time to f squeeze in a few other things as we go along. So please keep track of us on our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter, especially with the hashtag HuaweiMWC. And we look forward to being able to help improve your lives and to be able to improve the lives of people around the world. Thanks very much.